Welcome back to Ozarks Fox AM. We're talking with Sean Paul of Intrigue Journal, and I know whatever he's got to say is totally intriguing. Well, well I, I hope so. You know, it's fun for me to come back and do like a recap or re revisit a, a subject that I've, we've done in the past. Okay. You know, I've done that a couple times now. And um, so some stories have come up, and I find them fascinating. They have a lot to do. And I want to just talk. Okay. We're going to talk about people that live with bears. <laughs> What could possibly go wrong, right? right? Why do you live with bears in the first place? That should, that should actually be the subject of this, this uh, segment is what could possibly go I wrong, some right? I've Sean. Yes. yes. Well, okay, so bears are dangerous, but we're going to go all the way through this, and then I'm going to tell you what animal is respo responsible for more human deaths in this country than all the species of bears put together. Okay. okay. You ready? Right. Yeah. Yes. Are you hooked? Yes. I'm Okay, so uh, many years ago, Julie and I, we were performing at a sportsman show. It was her, myself, and Frankie in one of the most sensitive uh, agricultural uh, states in the country. In other words, they're so sensitive, you want to bring a monkey into their state. I, of course, am talking about the great state of... Missouri? North Dakota. Oh. <laughs> Right? I don't understand that, but we had to fill out all this paper. We're coming to North Dakota, and we're bringing our monkey. And at this sportsman show, they had lions, tigers, and bears all on display. They were all real. And apparently, the USDA agent went straight in to the, to the show office, and he said, I'm doing a surprise inspection. Where's the guy with the monkey? Really? I'm not kidding. That's how sensitive they were. All right? But let's talk about what... So it was, uh, it was fun. We've wor we worked for these people for several years. And, you know, it's fun to uh, uh, share stories about show business and whatnot. And they told me one of the best acts we ever had, which you can't have anymore, is we had bear wrestling. Yeah. They had, oh all kinds of, they had all kinds of different uh, variety acts, oh but this was by far the best one that they had. They had log rolling like a pool in front of the, the stage. This was the best one. And people would line up, and they would, and of course, the bear was wearing a muzzle, but they would like wrestle with it. But it still has paws. Yeah. It's got yeah. Paws. You know, yeah, it's not like a Kodiak bear. We're going to get to that. This was a, brown, a black bear. But one time there was a Minnesota Viking, a football player, and they were like, hey, why don't you come up here? And they got the, the football player up there, and he did not want to do it, but he, he he engaged the bear. The bear picked him up and threw him in the swimming pool. Oh! All right. Then it got even better. The next guy, kind of a bubba, you know, kind of a paunchy guy, the kind of guy maybe, I don't know. You can imagine, right? Yes, I totally All right. So he gets up there and he thinks he's going to fight that bear. And the bear just takes him and throws him down. And he ends up like face first in the ground with his hind end up in the air, kind of, kind of a little bit exposed. And the bear comes up to him. He's got a muzzle, but he comes right up to the back of him. And his tongue comes out of the... Uh, out of his muzzle. You wouldn't say that he got his butt kicked. More oh like my <laughs> gosh! What? Oh my. That's the worst part of what could have happened to him. Yes, yes. Say. So, and yes. can you imagine what the crowd must have sounded like at that point? I can't. I mean, there's yes. no business. Is there like, any video of this? Uh, no, I checked. You'd love to see it though, right? Oh, oh my. Okay, okay, I got to move forward. Okay. okay. So, um, people really love bears. All right, yeah. let's go to northern Minnesota. We're from Minnesota, and there's a, a doctor there. His name is uh, Lynn Rogers, okay? okay? He's 80 years old at this point. He goes out into the woods. He's actually very active. He hand feeds them with uh, candied pecans, and the bears come out of the woods, and they eat right out of his oh. hands, which is endearing, and it's wonderful, and he thinks that he's doing it. Let's run, run, run the tape. Do I have a tape of him? Um, oh, there he is. Yes. Okay, so, yeah, he goes out there. They literally eat right out of his hands, and he thinks by doing, leaving food out for them, they're less likely to go up to people's homes and go through their garbage. So he thinks he's doing um, the thing. society a favor, but the reality is, is uh, bears are becoming less afraid of people, right. and they also associate people with food. food. And right. if they come up to you and you don't have food... Well, they're not going to be happy. Right, exactly, but they look adorable. Now, let's talk about black bears, though. Uh, in over 80 years, like from 19 to 1980, it was uh, less than six people every 20 years got killed by black bears. Mm -hmm. In the last nine years, nine fatalities from black bears. So in, in other words, the, the fatal bear attacks are going up. They're rising. All right. That's black bears. Let's talk about grizzly bears and Kodiak bears. All right. There's a guy in, um, I believe he's in New York, Otisville, New York. Uh, we're going to go to the next one. His, um, yes, look oh at this guy. Gosh. That's a Kodiak bear. Those are the claws you're talking about. Mm -mm. And he, get, mm -mm. let's roll the tape of him. Bear hugs. He, he has this sanctuary. He rescued this one. He actually had this bear for 24 years. And when that bear passed away, this, his name is Jim. He was stricken. Oh. Look at ah. this. 
They're, they're getting into a squabble, and he's in the middle of it. They're getting jealous oh, over him. He's, had a, he's lost several bears to old age. What, look at this. Look at this love affair here. Uh, wait, are grizzly bears nice, though? They're, they, they're, uh, they're they, wild they have, they have killed 15 people in the last 10 years in North America. All right, so they're very dangerous. But you've got people out there romancing it, and he's not the only guy. But they are, you know, that, this bear, 1,400 pounds, right? So after the grizzly bear comes what? The polar bear. The polar bear. Now, as far as fatalities go there, only two deaths in the last 10 years because nobody's up really where the polar bears are, That's right? right. Yeah. Okay, so this guy lives in Canada, Mark Dumas. Okay, oh, okay. okay. All right. <laughs> but you, you see this and you might think it's a different last name, right? Anyway, roll the tape of him. That's so fitting. He is in Canada. He, look at it. You walked up to him, he's got a polar bear. That's Aggie, all right? And he's had Aggie since Aggie was eight weeks old. Aggie thinks that he is his mom and his dad wrapped up in one little package. They go swimming. Aww. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. And You're glamorizing this for me, though, Sean Paul. I know. Well, then let's go the other direction, okay? Oh, no. okay. Hmm. So in 2005, a documentary came out, and it was called Grizzly Man. And the guy's name was Timothy Treadwell. Do you remember the movie The Blair Witch Project? Yes, uh huh. It almost cost nothing to make, but they had such an amazing storyline that it was a huge deal. It's like basically these people went hiking out in the woods, and they filmed some things, and a year later, the footage was found. Found. Right? Yes, yeah, yeah. This Grizzly Man is exactly that. It's on tape. You, yeah, let's just watch the trailer for this movie. And it's Timothy Treadwell. He wanted to protect it. Can we run it full screen yes. with the audio? All right? I'm here with one of my favorite bears. It's Mr. The Chocolate. audio playing? Hey, Mr. Great. Chocolate. He's been with me for over a decade, and he's been my good friend. Oh, he's a big bear. He's a big bear. A very big bear. Wow. Edition 2001, I came here and protected the animals as best I could. In fact, I'm the only protection for these animals out here. Animals rule. Timothy conquered. He tended to want to become a bear. Most times I'm a kind warrior out here. Occasionally I am challenged, and in that case, the kind warrior must, must, must become a samurai. I think he had lost sight of what was really going on. Or he got what he was asking for, he got what he deserved. For 13 years, Timothy Treadwell lived among the grizzly bears in the Alaskan wilderness. During that time, he shot over 100 hours of videotape. Until 2003, when he was killed by one of the bears he had sworn to protect. Yeah, and it's what all, could possibly yeah. go wrong? <laughs> Reality check, right? Lost Absolutely. Yeah. But the reality is, is we've got people that are feeding them out of their hands, living with them. There's a really cute couple in Russia, and it sits between them. The way Frankie sits between Julie and I at the kitchen table, drinking tea and, and biscuits and whatnot is very cute. But the reality is, they're dangerous. Oh, so what's the most dangerous animal to mankind in, yeah, in North it? America? You, t you, s you total all the people that have been killed in the last year by bears. It's nothing compared to how many deaths are caused by the white-tailed deer. What? Uh, oh, car wrecks. That's right. A oh. billion dollars worth of damage and 200 fatalities a year. Who all has hit a deer here? I have. I haven't. Yeah. Oh, okay, Julianne has. Yeah. I, I, I need to knock wood. Oh, yeah. Yes, you sure do. Thank you so that much, Sean so Paul. That's intriguing. Sean Paul. Uh, to end yeah. this segment, I think we should all give each other a big bear hug. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Ozark's Box Sam will be back. That's a big bear hug. <laughs>